This one is extra special. Now, one of the winning entries for Smile's Mother's Day promotion called Dedicated Moms goes to Constable Nikita Mullings. Her friend and co-worker, uh, Constable Erica McKenzie, nominated her. Hello, ladies. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Hello, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. Extal, you have a little note there that you should be reading. Well, this says, my name is Erica McKenzie. I'm a constable of police who is serving at the Brownstone Police Station. Big up Brownstone in St. Anne. One of my favorite places to go. I saw the TVJ advert on Mother's Day recommendations and my heart could not rest if I did not make mention of my super mom and colleague, Woman Constable Nikita Mullings. Woman Constable Mullings is an active member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and has been for some six or seven years. She's a mother of two wonderful children, the younger being an autistic boy. I, choose, I chose to recommend Miss Mullins as a super mom because being a policewoman myself, I have first-hand knowledge of the risks, pressures, and stress that comes with our job. Being a mother of four children too, I also know the challenges that come with parenthood. Miss Mullins' son, DJ, who is about four years old, was born with a special ability and was diagnosed autistic. I admire my colleague's strength and dedication to both her job and taking care of her son. She oftentimes has to travel from St. Anne to Kingston to meet medical appointments, to meet medical appointments or seminars with her son and has to be back at work the following or even the same night for duty. Serving the people of this country without a frown or displaying or display of disregard to any customer whether internally or externally. My heart is full of wonderful sentiments towards this great mother. I often tell her that God gave her, well blessed her with DJ as a son because of the mother she is. He knew she would, be a, she would be strong enough to take care of and love him like no one else can. Please acknowledge and highlight the great job Ms. Nikita Mullings is doing with raising Tasai, her daughter, DJ, her son, with special abilities, and taking on all that comes with being a, mo a mother and a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Wow. Wow. You know, it is one of the hardest jobs to be a mother. But to be a mother and a police officer in Jamaica is probably one of the hardest things to do ever. And you know, women are, are so strong. Like there's so much strength, there's so much about a Jamaican woman. Not saying other women aren't strong, but being a Jamaican woman just separates us um, or separates you guys from Everyone, and I, I really love that about you all. So Erica, um, Nikita, it's so great to have you this morning, and it's it's such a touching story. Welcome, Thank ladies. You. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and they needed to have tissue on this set for uh, me today, because I, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, Erica, let's get into yes. why you decided to write this letter in the first place. What did you observe with your friend um, and have been observing um, that you thought her deserving of this acknowledgement. Okay, um, having worked with her over a period of time, I follow her on social media. So um, she would make her posts of her, of her children and um, especially DJ who is autistic. She would um, make some videos and, you know, post them up. But each time I would um view her postings i would um feel touched you know because you can see the passion in what um she's doing you understand um so i just felt that i needed to make mention of her when i saw the advertisement because um i i, I can't imagine um being in her shoe and having to do the job that we do because um you have to put personal issues aside and try to be with the public and i observe observe her doing that very well you know she doesn't doesn't um come to work frustrated at any point in time doesn't display any form of that you know she just comes and she's calm nobody from the outside can look into her situation and know that she's having these challenges sometimes she comes to work and um she has to leave like um that shift 
and make her return to work the following day. You don't see her and get mad at co-workers. She's just calm and collective. And I admire that because um, not many of us are built that way. Absolutely. And then, um, That's true. Right. And what I admire most too is that um, she's proud. She's very, very, very proud of her children. Um, most mothers would not we would not um would probably be reserved in 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 making certain posts about their child who's autistic but she shows the entire world that she's part of her son you know and i cannot hold it back in me um you know not giving her a commendation because that is very rare um me, yeah you know, and and you know. i'd love to hear from you nakita um Councilman mullins what how do you do it? I mean, you probably get asked that question all the time, but how do you do it? I, I balance my time because, you know, I have two kids. So I have to balance the time for my daughter, balance the time for my son, balance the time for work, as also to take time out for myself. It is not easy. I wouldn't tell anyone that it is easy, but I am trying my best to do it with the best of my ability and just to take care of my children. But it is a very, very hard road to travel on. It is not as simple as all persons may see it, but I am, I am balancing it. So much respect for you. You are really an inspiration to me in this moment, uh, Nakita. And I'd have to ask, you know, would you do it all over again if you could? Yes, I would. I admire my son so much. He, he is like my little light that shines so bright in my entire darkness. I oftentimes saw other children with disabilities and see how they're being treated by relatives, friends, schoolmates persons in society overall. This is the first time I'm ever getting so close to someone with special needs. Because I tend not to say that my son is disabled or to say that he has a disability. And it brings joy to me just to see how we operate and to see how we work, how we do the things that normal children are doing. Sometimes I, I often just sit back and look at him and I said, is he really artistic? When I see that he does most of the things that the regular children are doing, and sometimes he tends to do it even better than how they did it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. He brings a lot of joy in my life. Were, were, you, were, you, were you surprised by Erica's letter? Were you surprised by her nomination of you as a dedicated mom? I was very surprised by the letter, but I am not surprised at her reaction to me because she's always there encouraging me. I can honestly say that Miss Erica is one of my strongest support right now. She is always encouraging me to do the best that I can. And she always tell me almost she admire me and what I am doing with my son. So I, I am overwhelmed, not surprised, just overwhelmed. Man. I think this is probably one of the first times I'm on an interview and just, just lost for words. Man. Yeah. Lost words. You are truly an inspiration. What, what wish do you have for your children? When, when I was pregnant with my son, I always wished to have a son as I have a daughter already. When I did my ultrasound and found out that I was having a boy, I planned this entire life. I said, I have to buy him a football. I have to teach him how to ride a bike. I have to teach him how to play cricket, even though I'm not a fan of sport. And I told myself that my son is going to be a doctor. And when I enrolled him into school, I dressed him up as a doctor on careers day, even though I know he's, he is autistic. But my dream for my kids is for my son to be a doctor and my daughter to take on whatever career path you wishes to. Love that. Nikita, courtesy of TVJ, we have a gift basket for you from Bailey's. 
and a small voucher. And uh, we have a few small businesses as well that wanted to celebrate you. Uh, you've also won the following. Excellent, you want to help me with yeah, these? An orchid arrangement from Four Stems um, for all your four arrangements and your potted plants, a self care set inclusive of face and body, warm sugar scrubs. Oh, I love the sugar scrubs, amazing. Um, face and body wash, body butter, and rose of body oil serum from Chem Qualco. Chem Qualco providing entrepreneurs with base cosmetics to make their own products. Free hairstyle, courtesy of Little Styles, where your hair is our business. Mommy Tommy, a guide package and a tummy butter from the Women's Health Physio, helping countless moms to heal their diastasis recti since 2018. Thank so, you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Nikita. You are yeah. a queen, honey. Thank you. Yeah, and we have a we have a little video to play. Um, hope you enjoy it. Okay. Hi, I'm Kimberly Hoffman Reed, creator of the Mommy Tommy Guide, and I'd like to congratulate the winner of this amazing prize. I can't wait to work with you to empower you to look and feel your best in your post baby body. Happy Mother's Day to you, and a happy Mother's Day to all the amazing mothers out there, including my mom, Carlene, my three aunts, and my two grandmothers. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Enjoy your day. You all deserve it. Yeah. Erica, Nikita, thank you so much um, for joining us. Again, happy Mother's Day tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy um, this wonderful you. day. We'll be right back. Thank you.